Hey guys, Andy Tran here with the Inner Bark Outdoors channel, and in this video I wanted to do a review on the Trek knife made by Trayvax. This is their first dive into the cutlery world. Normally they do slimline wallets, uh, belts, personal accessories, things like that. They did a, a Kickstarter campaign with this design, and it was wildly successful, and they had a huge hurdle trying to fulfill all those orders. But I actually went to their factory and saw them making these, and it took a few months because they wanted to get uh, the people that were original backers it first. So in this video, I'm gonna go over some function and features and let you guys know what I think. The blade length for this knife is 3.5 inches with an overall length of 7.9 inches. The blade itself weighs in at 2.5 ounces or 72 grams. The knife is CNC shaped and doesn't skimp on any details. The handle is skeletonized and beveled inside and out, which makes it a little bit easier on your hands or any paracord that you decide to use. The thumb jimping on this knife to me is more aesthetic than anything, since it's pretty radius and doesn't have too much of a bite into your thumb. This blade and the sheath is all made in the USA, in your choice of 440C or S35VN like this one here. The sheath is a premium leather and is sourced from US hides. And just like their knives, it's all done in factory and hand stitched. This knife also has a polymer wallet for longevity. The retention strap on this sheath has a little bit of an elastic. The purpose of this is to pull the strap away from the blade as you disengage it. Overall, the system works pretty well, although I wish the elastic was just a little bit stronger. If you're not paying attention, it does have a tendency to go back to the blade just a little bit. And because the knife is so sharp, you can accidentally cut it. My workaround for this is just to take my finger and boop it to the side. That little bit of force is enough to keep it out of the way. Overall, this knife fits really well in the hand. My glove size is between a medium and a large. Overall, it has a really good hand feel, and I didn't find any hot spots when I'm using it. When choking up and pinching the blade, it feels natural. I'm not sure if it feels on purpose, but the grooves that are CNC'd into the blade sort of move your hand towards the spine, just in case your fingers do slide forward. It adds a little bit of safety to it. The balance point is right at the index finger. It makes the 72 gram knife feel even lighter and more nimble. Out of the box, this knife is shaving sharp. My Asian legs aren't as hairy as a lot of you European guys out there, but take my word for it, this thing comes sharp out of the box. The first thing I decided to cut with this thing is the coconut husk off a of young coconut. These husks have a lot of fiber in it, and they also have a pith that tends to grab onto blades. This knife cut through it so easily I had to be very careful that I didn't hit the granite countertop. Probably should have used a cutting board for this. I also decided to cut some normal things like shallots. This blade doesn't have a nice rocking motion like a full bellied knife, but it does slice and it does slice well. For part of this meal, I was cutting up some venison and this knife cuts through meat like butter. Adding some noodles and some sauce, we made ourselves some venison stroganoff. 
pretty good meal. For tomorrow's lunch and dinner, I decided to make some pork ribs. And just like with the venison, it cuts through it with ease. Now I did hit a little bit of resistance when I hit the cartilage, but just a little bit of pressure and it cuts right through it. And of course this wouldn't be an inner bark outdoors knife review without a little bit of batoning. Granted this blade is not very long, nor is it very wide, so you're not able to process huge things of wood. But the heat treat that they did on this S35VN did it justice. Since the blade is small and the skeletonized handle is rather thin, it doesn't make for a very comfortable batoning knife, but you could do it in a pinch. Adding a little bit of paracord wrap to really widen up the girth of the knife, and also dampen some of the shock that goes into your hand. But for me, the beauty of this knife is that it's so lightweight and also really easy to clean, so I decided to keep it naked. And after all my testing, this knife is still razor sharp. So that is the Trek knife made by Trebax. Overall, I think this is a really good system. The only thing that I would say is uh, that little keep open flap for the knife. Um, you have to be a little bit careful with that. The way I get around that is just, you know, pushing it over with my finger and then it stays open just enough so that it doesn't get cut by the blade itself, which can happen because this knife is so darn sharp. Um, at three and a half inches, I think it's a perfect length for a companion knife or even like a, if you're doing backpacking, you know, and you're doing maybe 20 miles a day, you don't want to have a huge heavy knife. So at 75 grams, this thing is super lightweight. I think the sheath is awesome. They already got the leather game down, but overall I think this is a really good knife. So. Uh, just a little bit of a disclaimer, um, I am affiliate with them, so if you use the link down below with the uh, coupon code, you will get 10% and I get a little bit of an incentive from that too. Um, overall, I think this is a great knife. Again, if you guys have any comments or questions, go ahead and message me directly or comment down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and also check out my Facebook page, Instagram, and other social media. It really helps you know these are the kind of videos you want to see. But as always, take care out there. Bye.